Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just like Windows 10, as I did post earlier today, we are expecting to see the next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 21H2, which is the original release of Windows 11, to roll out shortly over the next couple of days. And I would suggest any day soon, uh, possibly next week onwards towards the end of the month. And the update is KB5022905, currently in its final testing with insiders in the release preview channel. And the release preview channel, in case you're unaware, uh, is your closest version and build you will get before it rolls out to the general public and to the stable version. Now, uh, because Windows 10 21H2 and 11 21H2 are very similar at their base and core, the updates will also be quite similar, but Windows 11 will get one new feature and a couple of other fixes and improvements. And uh, the update will be a non-security bug fix update. Now, the new feature rolling out for Windows 11 21H2 is to do with facial recognition, which is used to sign into your device if it is set up using Windows or low. And um, Microsoft say they have added an advanced auto learning feature for facial recognition. And over and above that, um, Microsoft doesn't give us any more info regarding that new feature. But in true Microsoft fashion, um, only time will tell, tell, I suppose, when it comes to that new feature. And then they also fixed an issue that stopped hyperlinks from working in Microsoft Excel. And then a fix an improvement for uh, the Windows 11 operating system when it comes to accessibility is to do with the color filters where they fixed an issue that affected the color filters setting and um, apparently when you selected inverted the system um, the system set it to gray, grayscale instead so that's a color filters improvement that will roll out in that next bug fix update and then apparently um, when you removed a user profile in Windows 11 21H2, um, there were issues where the, the cleanup was incomplete for removing that profile, and apparently that bug will also be fixed. And just like Windows 10, um, they have provided support for the United Mexican States' Daylight Saving Time Change order for 2023. And they also fixed an issue that affected Internet Explorer mode. Apparently, the text on the status bar was not always visible. And then... Um, Apparently, they fixed an issue where a window that was behind another window might have appeared on top. Uh, so that's just a Windows issue, and that has also been addressed. And they also fixed an issue that affected Microsoft Edge. Apparently, um, the issue removed conflicting policies for the Edge web browser, and that also will be rolling out for Windows 10. And then another one uh, for both operating systems, they fixed an issue that affected a certain streaming app. Microsoft isn't mentioning which streaming app, but apparently uh, uh, there was a problem that stopped video playback after ad ad an advertisement played in the app. And then the final one, just to mention uh, for this video, they fixed an issue that affected uh, parity virtual disks uh, using server manager to create them failed. So those are more or less some of the bug fixes and improvements we can see roll out in the next optional bug fix C release update. Uh, for Windows 11 21H2, which will be KB5022905. And when that does roll out, and if you do decide to install the update, uh, the OS build for Windows 11 21H2 will be bumped up to 22,000.1639. And that will be somewhere in that vicinity for the point release. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.